This is Pristina in Kosovo. And alongside me here are Italian representatives of NATO's Kosovo Force, also known as KPOR. They're here to provide safety and security in Kosovo. But to understand why they're needed, we must first understand a little bit more about Kosovo's history. Kosovo was once part of the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. The breakup of Yugoslavia in the early 90s sparked separatist tensions in Kosovo. In 1998, open conflict between Serbian military and police forces and Kosovo Albanian forces broke out. This led to terrible human rights abuses. Many were forced to evacuate their homes and thousands were killed on both sides before NATO intervened and ended the conflict. Nowadays, Kosovo is home to diverse ethnic groups, including Kosovo Albanians and Kosovo Serbians. So right now we are in the northernmost point of Kosovo. Uh, in fact, those hills over there that you can see behind me, that's actually Serbia and about three or 400 metres ahead of us is the administrative boundary line between Serbia and Kosovo. And here we've got Polish K4 troops. Uh, they're doing patrols down this road. And the reason for that is, although things in Kosovo are a lot calmer today than they have been in the past, flashpoints do occur. And right here in this location was one of those flashpoints. A few days before our arrival, this stretch of road was blockaded with vehicles by Kosovo Serbians from the local area after a dispute between Belgrade and Pristina over car number plates. With special units of the Kosovo police at the scene, tensions rose and K4 played a key role to help de-escalate those tensions. Major Gene Enriquez was one of those who helped on the ground with the de-escalation. Hey, how are you? Very good, thank you very much. Thank you for having us here today. Yeah, Major Gene Enriquez, welcome to Camp Novicello. Going in with an open mind and um, a bit of compassion for all sides of disputes uh, lends to a better outcome. You have to approach these situations with compassion on both sides. You know, it's not our job to uh, choose uh, who's right and who's wrong, but to help maintain the peace here. The dispute was resolved after EU facilitated talks between Belgrade and Pristina took place and a resolution was agreed. When a civil dispute like this one occurs, K4 is the third responder after the Kosovo Police and the European Union Rule of Law Mission, or ULEX. So when they're called out, it generally means that the situation is serious. K4's role under United Nations Security Council Resolution 1244 of 1999 is to ensure a safe and secure environment and freedom of movement for all Kosovo's communities. <laughs> driving up north to a town called Mitrovica. K4 isn't just comprised of soldiers. The Italian Carabinieri helps maintain peace on a daily basis in one of Kosovo's most volatile towns. Colonel Stefano Fidele has been a Carabinieri officer for 35 years and commanded K4's Multinational Specialised Unit, or MSU. We are in Mitrovica now. Yes, right? we are on the bridge on the Ibal River. This is a symbol of uh, interethnic division in Kosovo uh, because uh, in the, the past and in the very recent events, uh, uh, the last one yesterday, uh, it has been a, a recurrent scenario of uh, interethnic clashes. The bridge where I met the colonel joins the city's two sides, which are split by the river Ibar. The southern side is almost exclusively ethnic Albanian, while the northern side is mostly ethnic Serbian. At points in history, the bridge was a focal point for inter-ethnic tension, and so the Carabinieri maintains a presence at both ends 24-7. Colonel Fidele agreed to take us into northern Mitrovica, the Serbian side, where the previous day saw clashes between the Serbian population and the Kosovo police. Here, uh, yesterday, uh, there were gunshots and uh, throwing stones uh, against uh, the vehicle of uh, Kosovo police. The situation now is uh, calm but uh, very fragile. And what happens at the administrative boundary line or what happens yesterday here in Mitrovica, it's the evidence uh, of the necessity of uh, the presence of K4 here uh, in uh, Kosovo. 
So right now we are in Camp Film City, which is the K4 headquarters here in Pristina. As you can see behind me, there's a number of different troops from different NATO nations and partner nations, and they're preparing for a change of command. Tomorrow, the Italians will be handing over to the Hungarians. Handover takeover is a, it's a professional uh, procedure and uh, all are mindseted in, in the same way. What is important that stability and safe and secure environment will be ensured also in the future and uh, this will not change for sure. K4 has been helping support peace in Kosovo for more than 20 years and while its numbers have decreased over that time, its presence has remained a cornerstone of stability in Kosovo and its continued presence remains vital to prevent any confrontations from escalating.